Grooming our dogs is an important part of keeping them happy and healthy. This includes brushing their coats, giving them haircuts and trimming their nails. For dogs, being brushed, having a haircut or having their nails clipped can be a strange sensation if they aren't used to it. So it's important that they are gently introduced to the experience and learn to find it positive and enjoyable. This is why grooming is a very specific part of all of our puppies' training. This is important as one day these puppies will go off to live with a deaf person, alerting them to life-saving sounds and helping them to leave loneliness behind. If a dog is uncomfortable with a certain aspect of its routine, such as being groomed, it could cause problems that could impact their ability to live happily with their deaf partner. So how do we introduce a puppy to being groomed? We're not quite sure how the puppies re can react to it sometimes. Um, some of them are absolutely fine, some of them might be a little bit like, oh, I'm not sure. And to some puppies that can be a little bit scary. So we need to make sure it's all done positively. So we use treats as well and just take it at the puppy's pace and make sure the puppy's comfortable. As with every aspect of our training, it relies on a solid foundation of building strong bonds with each puppy teaching them how to make the right decisions and how to sit and wait nicely and by making everything as enjoyable and relaxing as possible for them. We then, when they are ready, gently introduce them to all the sights and sounds associated with grooming. For example, we would let a puppy have a sniff of the clippers while they're switched off, rewarding the pup with a treat or some fuss as we do so. By doing this regularly for short periods, the pup will get used to having this item near to them. He's, he, he also, he's, he's one of the most curious dogs we've had. And if you were to go down to his level, so if you were to sit on the floor doing something, he will be in front of you. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do, how tricky it is, he'll have his nose in there. So with the brush, he could be, you're, you're on his level, you're interacting with him and he's just thinking, oh, the brush is something I want to play with. We would then introduce touching the clippers, still switched off, against the pup's body, giving lots of rewards along the way, so they get used to the feeling of them. We'd then go through the same process with the clippers switched on, so that the pup learns to feel completely comfortable with the sound as well as the sight and feel of them. It is only when we are sure that a pup feels completely happy and calm with every sight, sound or feeling that comes with being groomed that we'll groom them for the first time. This helps us to ensure that all of our pups are as happy, confident and well-adjusted as possible. Vital traits for a life-changing hearing dog. So keep an eye out for episode 4 of Hearing Dogs TV for your exclusive look at the journeys our life-changing pups go on.